Sports and showbiz with the lovely Hayley Palmer and Aidan McGee. Hayley, we'll start with you. Give us a bit of sparkle. Give us your showbiz story. Well, beat this, because I was reading in the week about a girl that took the day off work to go to a Taylor Swift concert, and she went in disguise, and she literally had a blanket over her head with sunglasses, but some American TV show wanted to interview her, so she did the interview <laughs> like that. But my point is, can you really hide these days? Not with social media, I don't think you can. And also... Isn't that drawing attention to the fact that you are skiving off work? I've got, I've got every. I remember, I can't remember what Aidan will know which World Cup it was. It was the World Cup, I think, in America. Ninety-four. And, and the first, the first match, I think, one of the first matches was was the Republic of Ireland against Italy. I think. And it wasn't the Republic the first of Ireland match, it was one of the first. Yeah, and the Republic of Ireland won one nil. And after the game, they were interviewing all these Irish supporters after the match. And one of them came on the TV and said, "I just want to tell my boss. <laughs> I just want to tell my boss no. who, who thinks I'm off sick." at the moment that I'm feeling a lot better after that. <laughs> but the thing is, where is it they were thinking, I'll put a blanket over my head and sunglasses. Oh, I will uh, be disguised or, I don't know, disappear into the background. It did the exact opposite. No, it I drew mean, attention to them. I will give you another example. I was filming a few years back a TV show and we were in a restaurant. All of a sudden, these two people put coats over their head and were trying to hide. So I did walk over to them. I said, you know, you've just drawn a huge amount of attention to you. So you obviously either shouldn't be here or or shouldn't be with the person you're with. Do you oh. think you'd rather leave the table rather than the shop with two coats over your head? Because then people look at them. <laughs> so, oh, what mistake. Would you do if you, what would you, mistake. What would you do, Aidan, if you were trying to... Uh, I, 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 I,
whole kitchen table, or is that on the telly? <laughs> Both. And uh, no, it's, it's not going anywhere in my No, I'll say to the BBC, scrap it. It's miserable. Oh, I'm going to misery in people's lives without watching somebody else's misery on East I wish the storylines are more realistic. You know, I remember Emmerdale 30 years ago with the plane crash in a little village in Yorkshire. We're showing your age now. Yeah, exactly. yeah, no, sorry. Anyway, thank you both for joining us you. again, as always. Thank you to all of our guests. We'll be back next Saturday morning from 10 a.m. Coming up is GB News Saturday with the very wonderful, fantastic Martin Dormney. You don't want to miss that. I also wanted to say thank you to everybody for all of your views today, yes, whether it was always. on electric Still. cars, whether it was on the closure of ticket offices. You've been fantastic. See you next Saturday at 10. Stay with Martin.